This, say Ukrainian military analysts, is the world's first recorded strike on a Russian helicopter by a drone. It happened, they say, near Kursk in western Russia, as Ukrainian ground forces made a surprise attack across the border. Up to now, this sort of precise targeting would have been very difficult and easily countered by jamming the drone's GPS signal. But the war in Ukraine is rapidly accelerating drone technology. Artificial intelligence, AI, is about to revolutionise how UAVs operate with the aircraft themselves seeing the battlefield below, navigating their own route, and even visually acquiring particular targets. Uh, obviously, most navigation at the moment is done by GPS, and again, GPS can be jammed. And we've seen in Ukraine, even the top-end military systems like JDAMs and Excalibur are getting jammed by Russian jamming systems. Uh, and so obviously, the, the cheap commercial drones have got no chance. However, if you've got an optical navigation system, uh, one that's navigating by looking at waypoints on the ground below, that doesn't need GPS. It just needs a, uh, an onboard map and a little bit of intelligence and it can find its way. So if the operator can pick up the target and home in on it from, say, a kilometre away, uh, that basically means that pretty much all jammers, which have much shorter range than that, um, then have no effect and the drone can just carry on and home in on the target and destroy it. So it's a real game changer. This terminal guidance, as it's called, effectively turns drones into precision-guided missiles. Operators won't have to sit wearing FPV goggles guiding in the drone. It'll do it itself. And the tech doesn't stop there. Drones are being programmed to hit particular weak spots on vehicles and even intercept other drones. FPV operators found that uh, with a lot of Russian tanks, the turret rear is the most vulnerable spot. So what you want is an app that says... When you see a tank like this fly around to the rear of the turret and attack from there. So that's the, the kind of thing that you can do. As you may have seen, there's been quite a, a few videos of FPVs uh, knocking out Russian reconnaissance drones lately. And that seems to be because they've now got the technology to start passing targeting data uh, from radar and other sensors to the FPV people. Now, the idea is to automate that even further so that the FPV drone is able to go exactly where it's told and then use an uh, optical recognition to find the target and run into it. Uh, and they're talking about weeks before that is available, so that should start happening very soon. Also on the horizon in Ukraine is the use of swarming drones, groups of AI-powered UAVs linked together, launching simultaneous attacks. So they will, you can have a swarm will fly over an area, detect the number of targets and then decide amongst itself how many drones need to attack which targets uh, while other drones uh, circle around waiting to see the results of that and carry on, carry out follow on attacks. So if you've got a sophisticated swarm software, you can start doing very advanced things indeed. I believe we are going to see swarming of some sort in the next six months, uh, certainly by, yeah, by the end of the year. Another job AI drones can do is surveillance, flying over the battlefield looking for any disturbance that might indicate enemy positions, a task previously done by multi-million pound spy planes. For all militaries, the stress on soldiers of this constant overhead threat is only going to increase as drones become more sophisticated. And in Ukraine, the effect on Russian infantry has been stark. We don't really know what the long-term effects are, are going to be. Anecdotally, there is a lot more evidence of Russian soldiers shooting themselves, particularly when FPV drones turn up. Uh, and I think the, the prolonged exposure to that kind of thing is going to be quite terrifying, um, particularly because, as you say, the, the foxhole has always been the, uh, the safe place to be for the last 100 years. So long as you crouch down in your foxhole, basically you're pretty safe unless you get very, very unlucky but not anymore because drones can drop bombs right into it. While Russia has a huge advantage in conventional weaponry, drone technology and this new frontier of AI is an area where Ukraine may well be ahead, outsmarting where it can't outgun Moscow's forces. Humans will still decide what to target, but increasingly the smart, thinking drones will decide how they get there and how they attack. The world of robotic UAVs ever closer to reality. Simon Newton, BFPS, Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.